welcome to the world of handbags. A staple many people see as a sign of wealth. But what if I told you there is a complete other side to these luxury fashion pieces? Come with me on a journey while I walk you through the luxury handbag community, a place where many collectors find themselves right at home. I'll be talking to some big names, including TikTok sensation, The Angel Boys. Um, there can be quite a door in the shop to go to. And up and coming YouTuber, Wild Unfiltered. My first bag. It's a vintage bag and I thought it was interesting to see how styles have changed from Louis Vuitton. As the Birkin boyfriends, our most toxic trait is definitely justifying all of our purchases. So the number one way we do this is that we don't have children. So we can rationalise buying a Birkin bag because the price of one of these bags is around the same price as lots of cars that would ferry the children around to the school disco, the ballet or soccer. The Angel Boys, aka Liam and James Inez, have created themselves a massive platform on social media app TikTok, with having gained over 100,000 followers in less than a year. I went up to Manchester to meet with the boys at the Abode Hotel, where we discussed everything Hermes. And they even brought along two of their pieces to show me. So we are the Angel Boys on TikTok with three L's. We are with three L's. And when we created the name Angel Boys, there's a reason why it's got three L's in the name. So it's like a corner. So it's like your little corner of the world. Like a triangle. Your little place that you can go and just dream and just enjoy fashion. First of all, tell me about you both. Tell me about how you started out. So I've always loved luxury fashion. We both have loved luxury fashion forever. Yeah. yeah. Um, then I used to work in the Hermes boutique for a few years while I was studying at university, which was amazing. That's where my love for Hermes first began. Because when you're working with a product so up close, you really do get to see how amazing the materials are, the exclusivity, exclusivity to the brand, and the passion that all the essays have there and the passion of the customers. So that is where the love for Hermes first began for me around four years ago now. This is a Birkin 30 and it has the cellier stitch on it here and it has palladium hardware and um, it's also in the Bretone which means that the leather yeah. goes in. So can you see the difference between the two? This one they, when they make it they turn it inside out and then that's the shape of the bag. Mm -hmm. Whereas this one is cellier so it's stitched on the outside, this one is stitched on the inside. Okay. Yeah. And they both got the birthday last year. Yeah, I got this for my birthday last year, and um, yeah, I love it. It's it's really really nice bag, and I use it a lot. But you wouldn't really know. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't really know, would <laughs> no. you? No. But yeah, I do. Yeah. I think it fits the aesthetic of the the bag, I suppose, yeah. with the, the slouching. And I with the softer leather because I had seen a lot of soft leathers and I thought, oh, you know, I don't know how that's going to wear. This is like one of my first soft leather pieces and I actually really, really love it. Yeah. So yeah. you never have it off. We go for no, coffee and Starbucks. Yeah. We wear I just it. use it all the time. Yeah. 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 Why, did you, why did you pick that one? What is it? I guess it's kind of natural, everyday, easy to wear, the colour. Um, and I, the palladium hardware I like because it matches like jewellery and things like that. I don't a bit have a lot sporty. of sporty. It's a bit more sporty, yeah. casual. Um, that's, that's why I kind of wanted this one. Yeah. And the main difference between these two bags is that this one's a special order, mm -hmm. which is indicated by the horseshoe. So this is actually yeah. a very special bag because I got this for James um, at a surprise Birkin. So he know, obviously this took 13 months to make in Paris. I didn't know that he was yeah. getting it for me. Uh -huh. yeah. But anyway. Yeah, so it was a surprise. I gifted it him and um, we went out and it was amazing and you love it. And what's really nice, because Liam got it for me and the interior is blue, so that's like his My favourite, favourite colour. colour. Yeah. yeah, so it's like so. a bit of me on the inside. Um, but both of them are amazing bags. They're both amazing investment pieces and they last a lifetime. Hermes special order. Again, it's that time of year where we have been invited to create an Hermes special order bag. When you're a really good customer in Hermes, you could 
get invited to make a special order. So for the special order, you can sort of choose whatever you like within reason. Um, so it, it means that you can choose like the interior color of the bag. So this one's like the a blue. leather. Inside. Yeah. So, it, so it's like so blue. Yeah. Oh wow, that's really pretty. So that's like something different to this. This one would be like a just a normal Birkin. So this one's just tan on the inside, tan on the outside, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But when you choose a special order, you can have rose gold hardware. You can choose brushed gold. Like there's just a few different. It's a huge box. Yeah. Anything you want, you can create. Talk to me a bit about how a beginner would start then. Like how would you go into an Hermes shop and start that journey into getting a Birkin? Just go in. Yeah, just go in. Go in, have Honestly. a look around, see what you love, ask to see it, don't be scared. Um, about asking to get it out of the cabinet, having a feel for it, asking what type of leathers there are. Like I said, the Hermes essays are amazing. So yeah. you might not be an Hermes customer now, but, but you will be. a year's time. You don't once know. you once you get into the brand and once you see what they have in the store and the items and you compare the items to like something you might already have, yeah, you will fall in love with everything. Everything, yeah. yeah. You'll fall in and love with the shoes, the scarves. One thing and that the, the bags. one thing that the beauty manager used to say to me as well was never judge because that person that might not be able to afford a scarf mm -hmm. which is four hundred pound could let's say get some inheritance of a million pound and walk into the store and be able to afford anything the year later. So yeah. if you get a bad impression of the brand, you're never going to go there. Debbie Wilde, also known as Wild Unfiltered, started her YouTube channel just last year and recently passed a thousand subscribers. Originally, Debbie didn't set out to make her YouTube channel about luxury handbags. Eventually, she realised which videos were doing the best, and that was her handbag collection. So I started the blog and I started writing because I, I needed an outlet. So I was talking about anything and everything in my world. So I called it Wild and Filtered. In the community, it's actually, I think because like-minded people watch it and gravitate to it, there's a lot of kindness in there. And I say there's an odd, silly comment that comes in. Um, but in the real world, there's a lot of stigma of, yeah, if I said, oh yeah, I've set up a YouTube channel, and then, oh, that's fantastic, What what is it? And if I said, oh, it's about my fitness, so I'm documenting my fitness journey, everyone would be like, oh, that's fantastic. Good for you, you're doing something you really enjoy. But if I say, oh, I'm, you know, I'm doing... Uh, fashion and styling and accessories handbags it's like oh it's it's as if that's not okay because that's not a legitimate thing to talk about because it's you know it's because it's it's money and people don't like talking about money i try and be very savvy in the things i buy um i know i don't buy for resale because i don't sell anything i don't want to sell anything but i buy with the thought that if i ever have to or ever want to, that I can, in effect, get out of it without having any financial implications, if you like. So some things for sure, um, some Louis Vuitton bags, they're not gonna, you're not gonna get your money back. Some things you will get your money back, but over a long time, because time value of money, the price increases just mean that what you paid at that point in time, eventually you will get that money back just because of the time value of money certain um, Hermes bags, I mean, I've got one I can show you. Um, you know when you walk out of a Hermes store with that bag that you can sell it for at least double what you paid for it. And that's because you cannot get your hands on them. So the resale market for that is crazy. It's absolutely crazy. So yeah, there's an argument of saying, um, I'm frivolous and materialistic and I don't appreciate anything or there's an argument that says actually it's quite a good sensible financial purchase because it's an investment and it is and you know if I'd have put my money that same amount of money in the bank would I be able to in two weeks time double my money well of course not this is my first ever luxury bag and this is I don't know I can't remember exactly I think it's about 25 
or 28 years old, something like that. So Louis Vuitton, and it was, I think it was called the Montesaurus um, backpack. I'll move on to this one. So the reason I've brought this one, this is called the Petite Mal, which is Louis Vuitton. And the reason I bought this and the reason I wanted to talk about this was it just goes straight back to the heritage of Louis Vuitton. Of the, they were chunk makers, that's where they started, that's where Louis Vuitton started. And I just love how this is, a, it's like a proper piece of art. I absolutely love it. You literally, I'll show you the inside, you can get absolutely nothing in it. It's just useless, but it's beautiful. So, with up and coming creators such as these, are we going to see the luxury handbag community grow into something bigger? We're seeing new ways to invest, a boost to slow fashion with the option to buy a bag pre-loved and good quality pieces meant to last a lifetime. Perhaps it's not just a display of wealth after all. <laughs>